Hey guys, Nero from TechView, and in front of us is the Nokia Lumia 930. I'm going to give you a quick demo of Quiet Hours, which is a feature similar to Do Not Disturb, and is actually handled by Microsoft's personal assistant, Cortana. So this is only really applicable to people in the US right now, because that's only where Cortana is available. But given that it's coming to the UK very shortly, we thought we'd give you a demo anyway. Now, we've given you numerous guides on how to install Cortana, and you can just check the link in the description below for quite a in-depth coverage on Cortana itself, including how to set it up, what it can do, and how to customise it. But to enable Quiet Hours, what we're going to do is we're going to press the search key at the bottom right, and ask Cortana to turn it on. Turn on Quiet Hours. Quiet hours is now on. So that's turned on. But what if you want to customize it? Let's tap on settings. And right now it turns it on. And it says during quiet hours, Cortana handles your calls and texts and turns off other notifications. Really handy if you're in a meeting at work, in a meeting with a potential job interview, you could be in the cinema. You know, there's so many reasons to have notifications, but just turn them off so they're not constantly vibrating. You can even set it so it turns it off and on during bed, whilst you're in sleep. So you can turn on automatic rules from here. And this says that Cortana will turn quiet hours on at the times you set here. Let's tap turn on. And it, you can have the choice now is exactly similar to an alarm. When does it repeat? So in this case, we want it to turn on, say, every day. What time? Does you want it to start? We'll start at 11 p.m. and we'll start, end at 6 a.m. That means it's gonna turn on. And it also, you can, it's quite interesting that you can set it to turn on when you have a calendar event marked busy. Now what this means is, if you are in a really important meeting and it's one of those meetings where nothing is more important than the meeting itself, it's really handy, turn that on there, mark it, as your mark it in your calendar, and you're good to go. All the different options, choose the calendar, mark it as busy, and you know you're not gonna be besieged with notifications. Breakthrough rules. So the good thing about having something like do not disturb or in this case quiet hours is some people just shouldn't apply. So you can edit your inner circle and choose the different people. And you also have other options. Anyone breaks through if they call two times in three minutes. So say there is that really emergency call and someone won't cost up harassing you. As long as they call twice in three minutes, they'll be able to break through this quiet hours and your inner circle breaks through. So, you know, your, other, your respective other half, let's be honest, not a lot of partners are gonna be too happy about being ignored. And maybe other close friends, your boss, during working hours, there's so many other reasons. Now it allows you to specify what happens with texts. So in the case of texts, the inner circle can break through. It, Cortana can ask you whether the inner circle should break through or no one can break through. And the last option is quite useful. Reply that I'm busy now to contacts who aren't allowed through. So this is contacts who have a mobile number, example. And you might just go, do you know what, I'm busy and I can call you back. The Cortana's reply. Hi, Nirav is busy and may not respond right away. Windows phone auto reply. You can't edit that, but it does at least let you see what people are going to see. And I will go back. Turn off quiet hours. Quiet hours is now off. And that's it. That's how you turn it on and off. There are other ways, but let's be honest, this is quick and easy being able to just ask your phone to do it for you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you think of quiet hours. And do you prefer quiet hours? Do not disturb. Would you rather Cortana didn't have much control? Let me know down below, and I'll see you in the next video.